Good morning, YouTube friends and family. How is everybody doing this morning? And I hope everybody is doing blessed and well this morning, okay? And welcome back to another video with Cooking with Cheryl Spiritual Chicken. Not Cheryl Spiritual Chicken, but Cheryl Spiritual Kitchen, okay? I'm sorry, I'm just, my words this morning is one of them days, okay? But we gonna get this out here today, okay? So yes, Cooking with Cheryl Spiritual Kitchen, okay? And today we're going to do some fried wontons. Like, I love fried wontons. Like, oh my God, I've been liking these ever since I was a kid in the seventh grade. This is when I first tried from one fried wonton. Seventh grade, Benjamin Franklin Junior High School and my cooking class. And the first thing we cooked in that cooking class was some wonton, fried wontons. We, uh, so here I have the fried wonton wrappers. I have some ground beef, and I have some green onions here cut up, and come on, let me just show you what I have here. And I have all the stuff that I need for it. This is going to be for my sauce, the honey sesame sauce, sweet chili sauce, and black pepper sauce, okay? And some soy sauce. That's going to be, combine that together, my dipping sauce. Okay, and to the ground beef right now, and over on the stove, I have some oil heating very slowly because I don't want the oil to be too hot because you want to, and I'm going to show you how I get this together real quick. So really quick, I'm going to rinse off my hands here because you're going to have to use your hands and then I'm going to dry my hands. Okay. What I'm going to do, and you guys can see everything just like that. Thank God for the another tripod, so many of them. So, what we're going to do first is we're going to season up this ground beef. So, I want to let you see everything I'm putting in this bowl. So, we're going to do like this. Yeah. So, to this ground beef, I'm going to add green onions. I'm going to add garlic powder, a little bit, onion powder. I love onion and powder and ground beef. There's something about it. I'm going to add some minced garlic here. Just that much. And I'm going to add some ginger. You can use fresh ginger if you like. I'm going to add a little bit of seasoning to this. You can use whatever seasoning so you like. I'm going to add some soy sauce. That's what go. And some, uh, uh, well, if you have it, you can use some cooking wine. I have rice wine vinegar, but I really don't want to give it. But you know what? I'm going to try some white wine vinegar in here. Red wine vinegar. I'm going to put a little bit of this in here. Just a little bit. Just that's enough right there. Okay. And then I'm going to rinse my hands off once again. Dry my hands off once again. And then I'm going to take this fork and I'm going to mix all of this up together in this bowl. The ground beef and every ingredient I put in here. We're just going to mix it all up. Just like that. Yes. And I can smell it. it smells good. And then what I'm going to do is, after it's all mixed up good together, all the seasonings, the green onions, and everything, okay? Now, rinse that fork off. Set it there. Now we're going to take these. These are the wonton wrappers, okay? You take one, just like this. Ooh, 
I'm broke one of my nails, y'all. And I'm truly going to have to go get it repaired because I just got these done. It's ridiculous. Okay, then I'm going to take and then put a little bit of this ground beef filling right in here. Just like this. Right in the middle. Just like this. You see that? Then I'm going to take some water. I'm going to put it in this little bowl right here that I have these green onions in. I'm going to set that right there. And I'm going to take my finger, place the wonton in the palm of my hand. And then I'm just going to, on the corners of the wonton, fold the wonton over like so. Attach it with the ends. And press like so. Bring the corners around and press. And there you have it. A wonton. Just like that. There you have it. That's how you make wonton. You can fry this or boil this. Make wonton soup. You can fill this with uh, whatever you choose to. You can fry it or you can boil it. You can make a soup with it or whatever you choose to make with it. Okay? Is what you could do with these wontons. So I'm just going to take this one and then just set it here. Just like that. And then I'm going to do another one. Boom. Get it. Put a little bit right in the middle. It don't have to be a lot. Just one little ball full. Take and put it in the middle. Take and wipe the water along the sides. Fold it over. And press together. Press. Oh, excuse me. Oh, excuse me. Oh, excuse me. Bless me. And then take and fold it back and press. And then you have your on top. Just like that. There's another one. You see? Place it there. And then you just proceed to keep doing it. While your oil heats up very, very slowly because you don't want your oil to be too hot. And this will make a few of these warm tongs. Like, and you, I was going to make some with the cream cheese too. And I started to just, I turned off everything and said, let me just go to the corner store right quick because I forgot to get it yesterday and get some, uh, cream cheese and looked at the clock and seen that it's kind of too early because you know I be up early so my stores aren't quite open yet so I'm just going to go with the wonton with the meat wontons you see that isn't that cute that's both sides that's the back and the front or the front and the back however you want to you know, but that's how they should look. And they'll stick right together. They won't come loose. They'll stay. And then you just continue. Period. And with a lot of ground beef, you can make a whole lot of these. And they're good for parties, snacks, you know, whatever. You know, if you just want to do a lot of finger foods, this is a great recipe for it. Like, like I said, we did this and I never did this at home. I, I, I'm familiar with this from school, but as I got older and started loving Chinese cuisine, that's when I said, oh, these are the things that we cooked when we were younger. I remembered them from, from school, from my cooking class. And I've always loved fried wontons. I even like the dumplings like, you know? You can stuff these with whatever you feel like. You can use shrimp. Next time, I'm going to make some shrimp ones and some cream cheese ones. Yep. And you just continue. I want to let you see how exactly how I do this. So I hope I'm doing it in the camera where you guys can see it. Yeah, your hands will get a little messy with the wontons. They have flour all on them. But you just press it together. Oh, that one's trying to tear on me, but we ain't going to let that stop. We're going to press that back together. And 
press this together. And we're going to have that wonton, period. Yes, I love making these. It's, it's, it's fun, too. On top of that, it's really fun. Yes, it is. And just seal your ends. Fold them over. Let them meet. Press down. Bring corners together. And press. And there you have wonton at its best period like i said you can drop these in soup and a broth and make a soup you know whatever you want to do with these when we did them in school we fried them it's something like the crab rangoons that you see in the chinese food stores and stuff like that at restaurants or whatever that they have when they have the cream cheese and the crab ugh, and the wonton, that's good too. Like, like I say, you can stuff these with anything you feel like you like. And just bring those together and press. And you have some wonton. And if you feel like they're not sticking, when you press them, bring them together, you just put a little water in there and then press it together. And they'll stay. You see, these are the same ones I've been doing. And they still, they stick in there. They're really good. They just to stay. Period. And then, yeah, you just continue until all your filling is gone. This is the most time-consuming part of the whole process is stuffing them and wrapping them <clears throat> inside of here. This is the most, that's going to take the most time. Just, yeah, snap it together. Like I say, if you feel like it won't stick, you can put a little water there and then bring it, the corners to meet, and press them together just like that. And you have a wonton, just like that. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six. I got eight of them now. And I'm going I'm to use all of this ground beef for this. So I'm going to continue to wrap these. Yeah, still everything's still good. So just continue to go ahead and put it in the middle and ooh, wet them on each corner. Let them meet, press them down together uh, like so. And then bring the corner, the bottom corners together. Press. And there you have it. Wonton at its best. And I love wonton. I love wonton soup. And that's what I'm going to make next with these. These are fried wontons. But next, trust me, it's going to be some wonton soup and some good old broth. Yep. I'm going to bring that to you guys too. Yep. You just bring it together, press, and there you have it. Okay, well, as usual, I have to make more space. But now, yeah, here we go. And like I said, I got like two more left. And then you just continue to. You see, here are the, all the wontons that I have accumulated. And I have like maybe, I want to say I'll make two more out of what's in here. Because like I say, you don't want to make them too big. So there's one. And this will be the, next, the last one. And then we're going to get to frying. I already have this on, but I turned it off because I didn't want it to get too um, warm. I mean, too, too hot. So now I'm going to turn it back on and can do these last two. You remember? And then turn them up. I mean, bring them to the, let each corners meet. And then you have wonton, period. 
There you go. Like I say, this is the most time-consuming part of the whole process. fun though if you like doing this kind of stuff it's really fun to me like I love it I could sit here and just make a gang of these of course I would sit down and do this part but cause my backer start by burning up if I stood up to just do a gang of them okay so now we're going to Put this back, throw that away, get a clean one. Put this back in here, and then here, and back in the refrigerator. This goes, okay, to keep these nice and fresh. Okay, now. surface. And let's move to the stove. All right, all right. Okay, now, over here we go. Now, here's the oil that I have. Um, let me see. The first one I put in, like I like to put one in, and then just kind of see what it is. Okay. We're going to let that heat a little bit more because we want these to cook. We don't want them to be put them in there and then they just automatically start, you know, cooking. So I always like to put one in to test it to see because I want to put them in while the grease is warm, just now starting to get warm so that, you know, I can make sure the heat is not too much. So we're going to continue to let this heat up. And then we'll be right back. Don't go far. So while we are waiting for the uh, oil to get. Because it's starting to bubble now. So I'm going to drop the rest of them in there. What we're going to do real quick is we're going to make this sauce. We're going to use some sweet chili sauce. A nice dollop. Dollop of daisy. We're going to use some black pepper grilling sauce. And it's all a pretty thick sauce. Good though. Every last one of them. And we're going to use some honey sesame sauce. And then we are going to use some soy sauce. And then I'm going to take this spoon and just stir this up. And this is going to be my sauce. And I'm also going to heat this up too. So it could be warm. Mmm, a warm dipping sauce. And there you have it. That's my dipping sauce right there. So, mm. yep, put that to, ooh, that's good. Ooh, yeah. So now, back over to the stove. Okay, now. Now you see how that's starting to boil? Now we're going to get them all in here. Because you want to get them in there when they're... You don't want to put them in there and then they automatically just start frying really, really fast. Because you want to make sure your ground beef is getting done on the inside. Your meat is done on the inside.
just continue to put them in there. Let them fry. And like I said, you could do this. Drop them in uh, some broth and make a wonton soup. I'm going to do that for y'all next. But this time, I like, I want, I just wanted to fry these so bad. Like, I actually did some last night and they were so good. Like, so good. And there you go. You have them all in there frying. So we're just going to let these do their thing. Yeah. Because they're delicious. So we're going to let these fry. And then we'll be back. Stay tuned. And this how they look when they're frying. When they come up to a nice rapid fry. That's what you're going to see. Turning brown nice and slowly. If you put them in there when the grease is too hot, the wontons are going to get brown instantly. And you're going to have to leave them in there long enough for the meat to inside of it to get done. Which means your wontons will come out darker than you want them to, to. So, yeah. That's why you have to. You can just flip them on over as you feel the need to. Period. Next time we come back, they'll be nice and done. Stay tuned. So now these are done, and we are going to take them out and sit him, them on the pepper napkin to dry. Not to dry, to drain. Oh, my Lord. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> to drain the grease off. You see how nice and golden they are? Oh my, they're delicious and beautiful looking. And this is how you would do some fried time. Ooh, I wish I would have got that cream cheese because I could have did half of ground beef ones and half cream cheese ones. Oh, so good. Just got a plate full and you got your dipping sauce that I'm about to put in the microwave and let it heat up a bit. Mmm. Ooh. Sure I don't want this grease popping on my clothes. Dipping sauce here. And look at them. Here they are. Fried wontons. Homemade fried wontons. As that is. Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. So now what I'm going to do. What I'm going to do.
dipping sauce on the side of it, like so. Mm. See? So now we're going to eat that. Oh, whoa. Hold on. Let me fix this real quick. Set up now. All right. And here we are. And now we're going to say grace and taste. Okay, so let's taste it now. I want you to get a good look at it. Look at it. Don't get close up. And dip on. Crunches, man. It was delicious. Mm, mm, mm. And this is how you make fried one time. Like I said, you just stuff this with ground beef, pork, shrimp, whatever you choose to stuff them with. And you can fry them or you could drop them in some uh, broth and make a swan tongue soup. That's what I'm making next. Watch me. Everything in it. Watch. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I'm good. Mm hmm Ten out of ten, hands down. Mm hmm I'm good for parties. Finger food, games, whatever. Mm, mm, mm. And we're done all the way through. Period. It's delicious. Mm-hmm. Good, huh? <laughs> oh, man. Okay, I'm going to end this video here. Continue to snack on these. Until the next video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Talk to me, I'll talk back. God bless you all. Have a great, blessed day.